Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Now I pray by strength of the Lord that I have to do another service. We have service every uh, Sunday at 4 p.m. And I've been rolling ever since 4 o'clock this morning. Amen. Amen. But I believe God is going to give me strength. Amen. And he's going to give me strength to, to do his will. Amen. Uh, who, who is the good Holy Ghost filled believer that wants to read for me? Who's Holy Ghost feel that don't mind reading for me? I need somebody that has authority to read this word for me. Psalm 78 and 8. When you get time, uh, whoever wants to do it, I don't know if it's a child, does, preacher, deacon, whoever. Amen. I don't want to do it for you long. Amen. Okay, what do you say? And might not be as their fathers, mm -hmm. a stubborn and rebellious generation. We're living in a time where people are stubborn and they are bastards, as the Bible says. Why are they bastards? Because they don't care for instruction. The Bible says in 1 Timothy, the Bible says that there was going to be lovers of themselves. That's 1 Timothy 4. And the scripture declares that not only was they going to be lovers, but they was going to be ungodly, perverted. You know, this is why we are seeing so much sex scandal on the rise. The Bible declares that in the last day, he said that this generation was like a generation of vipers. You must understand, vipers are people that always ask you to help them out, but they can't help you out. Amen. They want you to pray you through, glory to God, but they can't get a prayer through. Amen. The Bible says, cast not Hold on a second. I don't need any music right now. Cast not your prayers before swine. Amen? Amen. So the truth of the matter is, is that we're living in an hour of glory to God. We're kids and children, glory to God. The Bible says that they're rebellious. This is why, glory to God, you can't have them to come to church without excuses. Uh, the Bible said in Matthew 25, the Bible said in the last day, the scripture says that they was going to have excuses. One said they got married. That's why they couldn't come to church. Uh, one said, glory to God, they had a job offer. That's why they couldn't come to church. Uh, another one came, you know what, my kids, uh, uh, they, they sick, you know, that's why. But the Bible declares uh, that the Bible declares this. Uh, he says, healing is of the children's bread. Now, I want you to understand in Psalms 102 and 2, the scripture says, uh, it says that there are benefits in the kingdom of heaven. Amen. Uh, so the truth of the matter is, when you live godly, the Bible says you shall suffer persecution. This is why we'll send so much scandal on preachers. Uh, the Bible says in the last day, they was going to persecute you uh, for his name's sake. The truth to the matter is that uh, we're living in an hour, glory to God, where people are offended. That's why they don't come to church. Ah, uh, uh, because he preaching on me, because she preaching on me. Ah, uh, uh, he know my sins, and she know my sins. Uh, but the truth of the matter is, God said, uh, you must suffer. Come on now. Hardness uh, as a good soldier. Uh, and the truth of the matter is, we don't got soldiers nowadays. Uh, we got people, glory to God, that can't take a lick. Uh, the truth of the matter is, God says, you know what? Uh, he says, I'm looking before people. Uh, that glory to God that will walk uh, and faint. Uh, I'm looking for a people, glory to God, uh, that's going to walk uh, and power. Uh, and the truth of the matter is, I was reading Revelations. Uh, the scripture says this, that it is a lukewarm church. Uh, I tell you what a lukewarm church is. Uh, a lukewarm church is the people that lost their prayer life. Uh, a lukewarm prayer church is the people that lost uh, their fasted life. Uh, the truth of the matter is uh, that men and women, glory to God, they are coming uh, in the form of God and it's but denying the power thereof. You want to know why glory to God that there is no anointing in the service? It's simply because Matthew 6 says it like this. He said, you know what? In your secret place. He said, I want you to go and pray. He said, what you do privately, I reward you openly. And the truth of the matter is glory to God is that people glory to God. We're living in a time glory to God where people will give you gifts but no anointing. That's why nobody ain't getting delivered. That's why nobody ain't getting healed. But I heard the Bible say it like this. The kingdom suffered violence and the violent take it by force. I don't know who I'm talking to, but if I'm talking to you, the government putting you, come on now, under the table. It's time for you to arise and shine for the kingdom glory has come. Isaiah said it like this. 
is. Hold on a second. The truth of the matter is we're living in an hour. Glory to God where people are not submissive. The Bible says in the last day there was going to be truth breakers. The truth of the matter is truth breakers or people, glory to God, that don't keep their word. Glory to God, they'll say, I do this, I do that. But the truth of the matter is they won't keep their word. No wonder we got in the pulpit. Glory to God, homemongers. Ah, don't you not to me and say ain't no homemongers. The truth of the matter is the Bible said in the last day there was going to be perverted. Ah, there was going to be like glory to God. The sons, glory to God. The truth of the matter is God is looking for all people to be holy. I asked the Lord. I said, Lord, why is the church so empty? He said, you want to know why? He said, because in the last day, I said, I'm only coming for a remnant. The truth of the matter is, the remnant means a few. The Bible says this. It says, only a few shall be saved. Ah, the Bible says, who that endure to the end, the same shall be saved. What does that mean? That means, glory to God, that you got to have endurance. The Bible says this. He said, I pray that your faith tell you not. And the truth of the matter is, we're living in an hour, glory to God, where mothers, glory to God, are trying to get their kids together. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Said I want for them to hear this. I want them to hear this with clarity. The Bible says this. The Bible says he sent his word. And his word delivered them and healed them and saved them from destruction. Ah, every once in a while, you need a preacher, glory to God, that's going to tell you, glory to God, to get your house in order. Every once in a while, you're going to need a preacher, glory to God, that's going to tell you, uh-uh, I know you're crying. Uh-uh, I know you're complaining. But the truth of the body is, God says that he hates mamas and complainers. God is looking for a people, glory to God, to have tough skin. Who am I talking to? Glory to God. Who am I talking to that's going to walk and faith and faint not? We're living in an hour, glory to God, where men and women, they are troubled in their mind. The reason they are troubled, the Bible says in Psalms 1 and 1, the Bible says, blessed is the man that don't walk after the counsel of the ungodly. The reason why you're defiled, the reason, glory to God, that you're, you're, you're being, glory to God, defiled, is simply because Evil communication corrupt good manner. The truth of the matter is, how you gonna hang around with a porn or a porn person? Lord of God, when you my God, you're trying to walk and not faint. The truth of the matter is, the Bible says it like this: What fellowship do light has with darkness? My God, your homeboy is a, is a sex offender, and you hanging with him, and they ain't got saved. You wanna know what they ain't got? Because you ain't been on your knees. The truth of the matter is, God is looking for a people, glory to God, that's going to walk and power. The Bible says, but the spirit of the Lord, that is liberty. Some of you are bound, bound by drugs, bound by alcohol. And the truth of the matter is, you're trying to get set free, and you don't know how. There are strongholds in this house. Yes, sir. Strongholds of unforgiveness. Let's talk about it. Strongholds of hurt. Strongholds of bitterness. Strongholds of hurt. A lot of hurt. Some of you are going through situations, glory to God, that you try to hide. The Bible says this, that you must confess your faults. That's James 5 and 16. The Bible says you must confess your faults. We're living in an hour, Lord of God, where people don't want to confess their faults. They'd rather go and gossip instead of go to your brother and sister and tell them, you know, this is what I was offended by. The truth of the matter is we have so many people that get soft when they come to church. But Lord of God, when they go to the barber shop, they cuss you out. They talk, they talk about all of profanity and stuff. They don't care about your religion. And you don't even say nothing. The Bible said, you be ashamed of me. I'll be ashamed of you. Before the heavenly father, we got people, glory to God, that are walking down the streets and the only Jesus they will see is you. The Bible says that we was made in the image of God. The truth of the matter is, we were made in the image 
grace of God, in the likeness of God, that means we should walk and talk as God. We should be looking for the God, like my God, broke and disgusted. We should be looking for the God, like King Kids. How many people, Lord and God, are tired of going, going through cycles of hurt? How many people are tired of going through cycles of hurt? Some of you are going through some of these seasons where you have nightmares. You have nightmares and the enemy is tormenting your mind. I want you to come up to this altar right now. Every single soul right now. I want for every single soul. The Bible says when you hear his heart, harder not your heart. I want for every single soul to stand right here. Meet me at the altar. I want for every single soul. You're tired of being tired. You're tired of going through situations, Lord of God, where it seems like people pick on you. They bully you. They belittle you. I want for everybody that's filled with the Holy Ghost to pray in your heavenly language. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Lord, show up. And I was sitting down, the Lord said there was a major depression that's over your life. I want you to take your glasses off. The Lord said there was a major depression over your life, and it seems like things are weighing you down, especially in situations. I see you walking in, and even in the kitchen, and, in, and it looks like things have not been going in your favor. You've been looking for money, you've been looking for help, and, and there's certain things. In the spirit realm, the Lord spoke to me. He said that you desire. You desire your relationship to become better. You desire for people to, to love you and, and not talk about you and abuse you and use word curses and, and size you up and say you are nothing. You'll never be nothing. There's things, Lord of God, that you're going through right now, Lord of God, that if people knew the hell that you was going through, Lord of God, they would understand your struggle. This day, I declare unto you the word of the Lord. That we can make it do it for a night, but joy is going to come to you. Can I get my wife to play the keyboard? Hala Rasha. My mother, they'll put the key to she kept her pocket. You know, the Bible says that there are many rivers of living water, and there's administrations of gifts. And it is the anointing that destroys the yoke. Amen. I need some anointing singing. If you could, could you? Uh, uh, do anybody have an extra microphone for her to sing? I don't mind waiting on the Lord. You know, the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 12, the Bible says there's different, different administrations of gifts. Amen. Amen. There's, different, there's different operations. You desire to be healed. Listen to your hands. Say, Lord Jesus, I love you. Forgive me for my sins, my liberties, my transgressions. Help me, Lord, to forgive. Even my mother. In the name of Jesus. There are some things that happen from rejection as a child. You desire for people to love you, and it seems like people always take advantage of you. My God, I said, I'm going to go. Oh, my God, I don't know why I'm screaming like that. Oh, amen. And also, give a great big hand clap for y'all, y'all chief. Apostle. I want to call him an apostle. The Lord always say that Pastor Thomas is not just a pastor, he's an apostle. Because he's, he's doing a lot of stuff. People don't appreciate him. I see him giving tithe, giving money to people, and when he gives it to them, it seems like they don't give back to him. But I decree the clutch double for his trouble in the mighty name of Jesus. I see him paying phone bills and light bills and all types of stuff. And it seems like people, they say they're going to give to him, and they don't give to him, and he don't even cry about it. He just said that, you know what, I forgive them. But I agree and declare by the power and authority of the Holy Ghost, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, I pray, Lord, that 
this, this, this spirit of hurt, unforgiveness, grudges, nightmares, even as she missed. I need for everybody to lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Keep them up as I pray for the people. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I need you to just hit the, the, the high head. There's a sound. The Bible says there was a mighty certain sound that came from heaven. God says he's going to give you love. He's going to give you your joy back. You desire, you desire freedom. People talk about you. Even Could you hold on a second? Something is going on in the spirit realm that's throwing me out. I plead the blood of Jesus over this atmosphere. So this is not the atmosphere that the Lord desires. I command for every blood covenant, white magic, black magic, candle magic, spells, hexes, voodoo, hoodoo, to loose the people of God. I command for you to loose their bellies, loose their minds, loose their hearts, and in the name of Jesus, every word curse, every curse that people even said against this mighty woman of God, God said you're not a failure. The Lord said that a lot of people talk about your, your, your kids and they talk about them like they, there's no hope for them. But God says they're going to be saved, they're going to be filled with the Holy Ghost, and he said there's hope. For for you. Come on, I need you to pray. I command for every spirit to loose her. Now. Choke her. 
Loose her and you shall not tear her out of her ears. Say that the Lord God rebuke you. Come out of her ears. You are not a failure, God says. You are not a failure. You are not a failure. Loose. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Every animal spirit, I command for you to loose. The blood of Jesus be against you. I command for you to let her go. Let her mind go. Let her spirit go. In the name of Jesus, every spirit of Leviathan, I come, come out. Say to the Lord God, rebuke you. You will not have her in a cage. You will not have her in a cage. Come up, out. you unclean spirit, loose. Now! She spoke in tongues 
This is the temple of the living God. I send fire on you. I send fire on you. Fire! The mama 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 Fire! The baba baba Fire! Burn! 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 I command for every chain, every shackle, every stronghold, every stronghold of 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 of, of guilt, shame, bitterness, pride, loose now. Loose! I see stuff coming out of his mouth. Come out! Hey, come out! Shut up! The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood that sets you free. The blood. I command. God says your kids will not die. I release the blood of Jesus. Hey, shamanana, shatanana, shatata. You will not die from a stroke, said the Lord. I think the age of 59, you will not die, said the Lord. You shall live and not die. You shall live and not die. You shall live and not die. Listen to me. Live. I say live. Live again. Every lie that's been sent against you, the blood of Jesus. Come out of his ears. I command for schizophrenia demons to let him go. I command for schizophrenia, bipolar demons to loose. Now, the blood of Jesus, ADD, I call out. Now, out. Every tormenting spirit, every lunatic spirit. Out. Man of God, shoot, I want you to come up here. You will make it. You will make it. 
make it. You're the head and not the tail. Above and not the leech. Come on, Jesus, in your belly. Jesus in your belly. Yeah. 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 The Lord showed me you. You showed me so many things. We have mistreated you. You kept secrets for a long time. A man and a shot in the neck of a bone But God heals your heart. God heals you. He heals you. You are set free. You are set free. You are set free, man, God. Listen to me. There's a lease in the Lord just showed me. God is going to work a miracle for you. Look at it. There's a list of the Lord spoke to me. He said, There's Eva. Hey! 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 Come over here. You will never be the same. You will never be the same. I commend every blood clout too that, that tries to pure to loose. In the name of Jesus. Every blood clout go! Go. I commend for it to dry up. To dry up. And you will have kids of the Lord. I see two of them. Hey! You, de you desire a husband, Lord, that will love you too. And the Lord just spoke to me. He said that things that keep on calling your phone threaten you, he says that if you try to touch the Lord, he will kill him. Oh, Holy God. And you will not kill yourself with a knife. I see the enemy trying to have you in a smoking apartment, trying to kill yourself. Hell, I shot, but you will not die. I die next spirit of suicide. You will not die. In Jesus' name. No, 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 no,
the blood. Hey, Baba Bansha, come out! Whoever you are, come out of her now. 